So I've just had a call. He said he's just admitted one of our patients, Freddie, who is in a really bad way. He's just gone under about three or four cars. Oh, my God. Look at how bruised he is. Poor oh boy, poor oh boy. Oh, that hurts a bit, doesn't it? But the biggest concern for me now is why Freddie is so, so very flat. And I think the problem is within the brain itself. Scott is on his way between practices when he receives an urgent SOS. So I've just had a call from one of my nurses, Nathan, up at Richmond. He said he's just admitted one of our patients, Freddie, who is in a really bad way. He's just gone under about three or four cars and he's really unwell, so I'm heading up there now. Come on, let's get there. Nathan is closely monitoring the three-year-old Italian greyhound until Scott arrives. Just downstairs. Freddie's all right. Good. Hey, Nate. Hi, Scott. What have we got? His temperature's 36.5 at the moment, so I'm just trying to bring that up. I put him on fluids. His oxygen level's low in his blood as well. Freddie. His eyes are really red as well, where the, yeah, where the blood see. vessels are burst. Look at that. There's a huge amount of bruising around that eye. That's really bad. He's bruising even in his ear. Look at that. So poor little Freddie is really in a terrible state. He is very, very flat indeed. So I'm very concerned this dog has suffered some kind of head trauma. Oh, my God. Look at how bruised he is. Poor oh boy, poor oh boy. Oh, that hurts a bit, doesn't it? OK, OK. It's all right. Your mummy must be so worried, eh? Anxiously waiting upstairs is Freddie's traumatised owner. Ivana was walking her six dogs in a local park when Freddie escaped. I didn't even know he'd gone. A passerby said to me, have you lost a dog? And because one's just been hit on the road, I knew it was him immediately. <laughs> so I raced over to the gate. And as I'm standing there, absolutely hysterical, the dog got hit by two other cars. And then one truck went over him and another truck. So I thought, well, the dog's dead. Just then, another passerby came to her aid. This guy literally stepped out onto the North Circular in the rush hour, arms up, stopped the traffic, and uh, scooped him up and said, he's alive, he's breathing. Scott now urgently needs to X-ray Freddy to look for any head injuries and also see if there are any broken bones. Oh, it's just awful, isn't it? Poor boy. With Freddy laid out on the X-ray table, you can really see the full spectacle of what this accident has caused this poor little creature. He is so covered in bruises. I don't think ever in my experience have I seen a dog so bruised as little Freddy. So, Nathan, I'm just going to take an X-ray of his head and neck. So I'm just spinning him around this way. Good boy. X-ray. So this is the, the fragment of bone there, and there's just a line here that I don't like the look of. So the wheels have likely gone over the top of him and have fractured his pelvis. But the fact that none of his other limbs are broken is incredible. But the biggest concern for me now is why Freddy is so, so very flat. And I think the problem is within the brain itself. Okay, come on through. Here's your boy. He's still very sad. Oh, my God. Who's that? It's horrible to see him the way he is. All right, shh, OK. The good news is there's no fractures or broken bones in the head, in the neck, which is great. Amazed. But he does have fractures in his pelvis, I'm afraid. I'm hoping that just with time and rest, they may heal okay. on their own, but we'll have to wait and see. What I'm majorly concerned about is the fact that 
He is so weak at the moment. We can't assess what other neurological symptoms he may have. He can feel all of his limbs, but he's certainly not moving all of his limbs. And so until he starts doing that, we won't know mm. what damage has been done. Hey, hey, silly boy. Freddie will need to remain at the practice until the extent of his brain injury becomes clear. I just don't know how badly damaged it'll be. It may be that it permanently affects the ability to walk, uh, his memory, even his personality. Oh, Fred. I oh, know, I know. You're going to have to stay here for a while, buddy. You see you are. Hello, wow, look at you. Hello, buddy. Hello, sweetheart. Gosh, you're looking better, aren't you? Look at you, trying to use your legs, eh? Two days after Freddie's road accident, Scott is checking on the Italian Greyhound's progress. Look how much brighter this boy is today. Thank hey. you. Yeah, he's a little bit sore still, which is why he's panting a little bit. But, I mean, look at him. Hey, he's standing. Amazing. Look at how bruised he is. Oh, that hurts a bit, doesn't it? OK. The three-year-old ran into busy traffic and was left with a broken pelvis and extensive bruising. Good boy. That's all right. I just want to do a few neurological tests on his body. Good boy. While the pelvic fractures should heal over time, Scott's worried the three-year-old may have swelling on the brain, or worse, a permanent brain injury. Come here, sweetheart. OK. So he's doing some tests to check for brain activity. OK, ready? Just see what you're doing here. Good boy, well done. What I'm doing is just putting his knuckles on the ground and just seeing if he'll right the foot. Good boy. OK, so this is the one that I'm concerned about. Good boy. But the right hind leg is a little slow to right. Now, if it was that he's had major trauma on the right hand side and there's been some swelling to the nerves, uh, that swelling can impede the ability of the impulses to get to the brain. But with a reduction in the swelling, hopefully we're going to see the nerves talking to the brain again. Scott now feels the best place for him is at home with Ivana. He's improved so much that I think Scott's going to let him go home with me tonight. So I'm really, really happy. I can't wait to see him. Hiya. Hey, Fred. This is hey, your boy. Fred Scott. Hey, gorgeous boy. Hey, who's that? Who's that? Oh. He's so much brighter. It's just... It's a miracle. Yeah. To come from the dog lying in the road, with cars hitting him and two trucks going over, to here in the space of a few days is just incredible. You know, massive strides. But one thing I would say is brain injury can, of course, change personalities alongside cause numerous neurological problems. So what we need to do is just be patient okay. and let these next few days and weeks run through and then we can work out, does he have long-term issues that we need to manage? Yvonne is a very practical owner. She understands that her dog has suffered a major trauma and he's not going to get better overnight, but hopefully everything is starting to come back. All right, so you get home and get well and I'll see you very soon. Yes, I will. All right, Ivana. OK, brilliant. All the best. Thanks very much. No worries. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. He's looking more like Fred now than he was a few days ago. Fingers crossed that he makes it to a full recovery. Come on, you the day. It's now seven weeks after Greyhound Freddy's accident. And the three-year-old is defying the odds, not only surviving the crash, but also showing no signs of any permanent brain damage. Freddy, come on, Fred. It was touch and go, totally. We didn't know whether he was going to survive, but he's recovered fantastically. He's brilliant. I mean, we can't believe it. Scott is anxious to see for himself the brave dog's remarkable recovery. Well, hello. Hey. That was an enthusiastic <laughs> welcome. Yeah. Hi. How are you? I'm hello, good, Puppy. Thank you. Hello, Fred. Wow. Yeah, as you can see, he's um He's doing, doing all right, isn't yeah. he? Hello, mate. Racing around. Wow, the fact that he's walking, amazing. 
As soon as I'm ushered into the house, immediately I can see Freddy, and he's doing so well. He's walking really well, he's running around, it's brilliant. So he seems none the worse for wear, considering such an extreme injury. Yeah, it doesn't affect his function at all. Certainly personality seems oh, unaffected, yeah. and, and that was the big thing. Is that we was just, the big worry. Yeah, we didn't know, would he have a complete shift in personality? Mm. Would you say that he's just the same old Fred? Yeah, he is the same old Fred. Yeah. <laughs> He's back to full capacity and back to normal, at least sort of 98%. So, yeah, everything's great. Yeah. Well, it's pretty magical well, what yeah. you and your team have done. Oh, thank you. It is a miracle, really, that this dog is here when seven weeks ago he was literally on death's door. So it is a wonderful result. I'm really glad to see he's happy and that Ivana is as well. All I'm talking about with you, young man, is road safety <laughs> for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Kate, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com, and you can do so via the link in the description.